Optimal Revenue Management System has an e-services facility with the new software. With this new e-services, you can send and receive secure messages, file tax returns, view tax account statements and upcoming returns, and make payments and update your registration details. Once you have successfully created an online account, you will be able to connect and to manage all your tax accounts. Now that we have that out of the way, let's begin. Registering an account In the past, to register for e-services, one had to enroll, wait on a token from the GRA, register with login details, and log in to access their account. I've been waiting a long time for this. You guys should sure take a long time to process an application. Well, things have changed drastically. To sign up for optimal e-services, you simply need an email address to register. This is to ensure you can validate your new account and receive important notifications from the GRA. To register your personal details, enter your first and last name, date of birth, phone number, email address, and taxpayer identification number as your username. Your TIN will be used to log into eServices. You will then be prompted to create a password. Select a word or phrase that you will remember. It must have one upper and lower case letter, one digit, one special character, and a minimum of eight characters. Re-enter the password and move on to the next step. Security and verification details. Under the personal information section, you are required to answer three security questions to help verify your identity in case you do forget the password. Read and agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy and click Submit My Registration. Account Access Once you have completed the registration and security page, the GRA will vet the information and send you a confirmation email. You must allow for a period of 36 hours to receive your confirmation email. If you don't see a message in your inbox, check the junk mail or spam folder of your email account and make sure the email address listed is correct. If not, register again with a different email address. Follow the instructions in the email to activate your user account and log in. You must activate your account within 30 minutes or you will have to register your details again. Registering your e-service account After activating your account, you will be required to link your taxpayer registration information with your user account by sending the GRA a message. From the Inbox tab within your account, select New Message. This option is used to make inquiries and seek assistance from the GRA. In this case, the taxpayer is linking his e-services account, therefore he selects Taxpayer e-services registration from the menu list in the subject line. Select No for the question, does your inquiry relate to a specific account? In the message text box, indicate you want to link your taxpayer account to your e-service account. You must state your correct TIN and specify what form of identification you are attaching. The GRA will accept national ID, passport, or driver's license as valid photo IDs. If you are linking a business to the eServices account, you will need to provide the business, company, or friendly certificate information. Next, you will need to upload copies of these supporting documents by clicking on the Select Files from your computer link. Click the What Files Can I Upload link to see acceptable file formats. After you have selected your document, click the Send Message tab. You will be given a reference number. The GRA will notify you via email when the inquiry is completed or if further information is required. The progress of your inquiry can also be tracked by clicking the Inbox tab. For more information, visit the Optimo website at www.gra.gov.gy forward slash optimal. Thanks for watching.